بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم گائز آئی سا مینی سیول انجینئرنگ اسٹوڈنٹس ان ڈفرینٹ کنٹریز دے آر جاب لیس دے کمپلیٹڈ ڈپلوما بی ٹیک بی ایس سیول انجینئرنگ بٹ دے ڈونٹ ہیو جاب ایکچولی دے ڈونٹ نو ہاؤ ٹو پاس انٹرویو واٹ آر دا امپورٹینٹ کوشچن ان انٹرویو ہاؤ آئی کین پاس انٹرویو so this video is very helpful for fresh civil engineers which can pass their interview with the help of this video because in this video i will uh, give you important information especially uh, in interview questions okay which are very helpful for you people by my personal experience these interview questions are often asked which i am telling you in this video so if you want to pass your interview to know something ab about interview then you should watch this video from start to end then you are able to pass your interview easily so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so must like the video and if you are new on this youtube channel so subscribe the channel with press bell icon for more civil engineering updates like this so let's start video will be long but you should try to watch this video from start to end because here are 20 often ask interview questions okay guys the first question is normal and simple question that uh, everybody know majority of the interviewers they are uh, they they can ask from you what's your name so you can simply answer your name my name is for example john abid anything so you should tell him your name for example my name is sami just simple okay so if you explaining more something in interview so they can make a problem for you okay just give the answer simply okay that will be good for you simply an interview questions okay fresh seven interview questions the first one uh, i've already discussed what's your name so just answer your name maybe they can ask from you uh, say something about yourself okay so it means also my name is Uh, and my, uh, my city our country etc okay so say something about yourself or what's your name so the second question is guys that is i saw uh, in many interviews they are asking from uh, from fresh civil engineers especially in concrete technology okay so uh, you should learn about concrete technology so they are asking in interview okay more questions from uh, concrete technology the second question is what is m20 grade concrete or what you mean by m20 grade concrete so just answer in two steps m stand for max 20 is the compressive strength of concrete in newton per mm square after 28 days just this is the answer of what is m20 grade concrete or what is m20 in concrete okay they can ask what is m20 in concrete or what is m20 grade concrete or what you mean by m20 grade concrete right i am sorry for this and the third question is minimum concrete cover for different rcc structures minimum concrete cover means clear cover so this is also very simple question okay you can answer him uh, for a different rcc structure like footing uh, footing column beam slab okay so for footing that is 50 mm for column that is 40 mm minimum and for beam that is uh, 25 mm and for slab that is 20 mm so these four are minimum concrete cover for rcc structures okay so simple question number 4 is uh, what is the minimum height of ceiling what is the minimum height of ceiling answer just 8.5 feet or 8 feet 6 inches then stop okay don't explain more it will make a problem for you okay this is my suggestion for you people especially for fresh civil engineers the question number 5 is often asked question this is also what is the average water cement ratio for concrete what is the average water cement ratio for concrete so that is the answer is 0.45 to 0.60%. 0.45 to 0.6% is the average water cement ratio for 
concrete question number uh, sixth interview question is what is the density of steel what is the density of steel so the density of steel is 7800 kg per meter cube or per cubic meter or 7800 kg per uh, per cubic meter okay question number seven is what is the compressive strength of m15 grade concrete and ratio for m15 okay ratio for cement sand and aggregate are crushed right so m15 compressive strength is means m stand for mix 15 is the compressive strength of that cube concrete cube after 28 days which size is 15 by 15 by 15 centimeter so the compressive strength of 15 uh, m15 is 15 newton per mm square after 28 days so you can simply answer him if they ask from you what is the compressive strength of m15 so tell him 15 newton per mm square after 28 days right question number eight is size of concrete cube for testing the compressive strength that is 15 answer is 15 by 15 by 15 centimeters or 15 centimeters cube okay that is the size of concrete cube for testing the compressive strength of concrete in compression machine 15 by 15 by 15 centimeter cube centimeter sorry the question number ninth is what is the suitable angle of staircase this is very important question for, for you people especially in interview the suitable angle of staircase so that is the answer is simply 25 to 40 degree answer is 25 to 40 degree is the suitable angle of staircase question number 10 is what is the formula to find weight of steel so the standard formula is d square divided by 162 d stand for r where d is die of steel bar in millimeter divided by 162 so d square divided by 162 it can give you weight of steel in kg per meter question number 11 is what is the minimum height of concrete fall during concrete work so concrete fall should not be more than 1.5 meter so just answer 1.5 meter is the minimum concrete fall okay otherwise it will make segregation so therefore the minimum height of the concrete fall is 1.5 meter you should not explain more just say 1.5 meter okay question number 12 is what is the uh, what is segregation and why it's occur in concrete simple answer is segregation what is segregation the separation of particles in concrete is called segregation why it's occur more amount of water is the causes of segregation in concrete or if you fall the concrete from the more than uh, from 1.5 meter this is also the cause of segregation segregation what is segregation separation of particles simple okay and it's occur due to more amount of water or if you use uh, water cement ratio more water cement ratio percentage so it can occur question number 13 what is aci and civil engineering so aci american concrete institute answer is american concrete institute okay question number 14 is what is the minimum and maximum height of riser and staircase answer is minimum height of riser and staircase is 4 inches maximum is 7 inches okay answer 7 inches uh, 7 inches maximum 4 inches minimum question number 15 what is the minimum days of concrete curing or minimum concrete curing days answer is 
थ्री टू सेवन डेज फ्रॉम थ्री टू सेवन डेज आर द मिनिमम कंक्रीट केवरिंग फॉर आर सी सी स्ट्रक्चर थ्री टू सेवन डेज ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so therefore you should know about this it's very important what is the minimum lapping length for steel reinforcement so the reference is is indian standard they said minimum lapping length should not be less than 75 mm mean it must be 3 inches otherwise it's wrong minimum reinforcement uh, lapping length for uh, rcc reinforcement are for uh, rcc structure for lapping that is 75 mm right question number 18 is what is the minimum depth of beam so minimum depth of beam should not be less than 6 inches from is reference is is so you should give him the reference so it will help you question number 19 is what you mean by main bars and distribution bars simply the answer is main bar should be placed at the bottom and distribution bars should be placed on the top of the main bar and other one point one point other main bar dia should be more than distribution bar for example if the main bar dia is 12 mm distribution should be 10 mm if the Uh, main bar dia is 16 mm distribution should be 12 mm but the dia of main bar should be more than distribution bar right if you don't uh, don't change so it it's depend on you but this is the rules okay question number last our 20 interview question is what is the cement expiry time for how long you can use the cement cement bags so after manufacture date the cement should be used within 90 days more than 90 days it can't give you the full strength so cement should be used in building construction within 90 days from the manufacture date so after 90 days the cements are not suitable to use for building construction so guys these are often ask 20 interview questions specially for fresh civil engineers so i hope it will help you for passing the civil engineering interview so guys if you have any question about this video or if you have other question about interview so you can comments i will try to reply your answer but hope it will help you in the future thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye